Hello, welcome back to the channel, Flesh to the Father. Today's video, I'm going to explain how modern Christians behave like modern leftists. Let's go. Okay, so I like to discuss either spirituality, religion, and politics with different types of people. And one thing struck me the past few days is how Christians behave a lot like leftists. And the leftists are the far left radical communists. You know, all these students and adults as well who've been brainwashed into this leftist ideology. And you'll notice people can't have a sensible conversation. And it reminds me of that meme where it says, everybody I disagree with is Adolf Hitler. And it's our online guide to political discourse. And just watching how Christians have behaved the past few days with the Republican convention, it's the same sort of thing that uh, the Christians do. Everybody who disagrees with the Christians is demonic. So if you try to have a conversation with a leftist, a sensible conversation on immigration, they'll just immediately say, you're a racist, you're Adolf Hitler. And it's not based in any truth. It's just they've been brainwashed and are totally deluded and unreasonable. And it's the same thing with certain Christians, not all, just certain Christians who, if anybody discusses any other religion straight away, that's demonic, despite the fact they don't know what they're talking about. And what both sides do in terms of leftists and Christians is they're both ignorant and that they haven't studied deeply into the things that they know. They're essentially just brainwashed. So if you go to a leftist and they just say, oh, racist, racist, but they haven't looked into all the stats. They haven't looked into different people's opinions, different ideas. They've just been brainwashed into this communist ideology, likely in university. And it's the same thing with Christians. They haven't studied Hinduism. They haven't studied Buddhism. They haven't studied all these different spiritual practices. They just see it. And their initial response is not Christian, that's demonic. Because unless you believe in the Christian story, then everything is apparently demonic. And what made me realize this was the Republican convention. There was this Sikh lady who was given a speech on stage, and then she put a scarf over her head and she started doing this chant. And in fairness, when you initially see it, even myself, I was like, what's going on here? Because I didn't really know what she was doing. And I was like, it does seem our initial reaction is always going to be what the hell's going on here when we see something so different. And the difference between the Christians and myself is the Christians immediately, oh, it's disgraceful. This is pagan. This is satanic. She should be banned. How have they allowed this to happen? Whereas whilst my initial reaction may be like, what's going on here? A bit like, it seemed a bit strange. But then I look into it. I know my fleshly reaction is a little bit ignorant. So I, I, uh, be sensible and look into it. And when I looked into what she was doing and what she was talking about, I realized, oh, it's just her Sikhish religion. And when I looked into the practices and how they believe, it is of the truth. And that it's all about the one true God, knowing the spirits to know God. So the religion is very similar to the teachings of Christ and knowing the Father. So I see that as in line with truth. And you always have to look at the fruits that they bear. And if you look at her career, I looked into all the things she's done. She was against all the lockdowns. She's been against all this leftist ideology. All the things she's done in her career has all been for good. So I can tell by studying her religion, it seems to me to be truth. And then let's look at the fruits that she bears. And the fruits that she bears matches up. So therefore, I trust her and I would have her on my side. And it's a bit ridiculous that somebody who is righteous is being called demonic and insulted. And I, to be fair to Christians, I understand it because initial reaction is of what's going on here. And especially if you're a hardcore Christian, anything that's not Christian, you're going to be against. So I do somewhat understand it, but I'm encouraging people to try and overcome their own ignorance. Just as those traditions, if a Christian got on there and started going on about Jesus, they may be like, what's going on here? Why are you talking about Jesus? If they belong to a different religion, because everybody has their own ego identity and anything opposite is always going to be a bit wary. Now you do have a uh, opposite side in the Republican convention because there was a lady called Amber Rose who was basically just some bimbo basically who made her fame uh, being a bimbo basically. I don't know all the details, but she got on stage and this is where it's slightly different because yes, people are able to repent. And then if she's truly repentant, then you can get behind her, but she's not truly repentant. She still does OnlyFans and promotes abortion, all this stuff. So while she may have been promoting their cause and saying, oh, I'm on their side now, her fruits do not bear. So while this previous lady, I checked out, she's of the truth and her fruits that she does bear good, bear witness of God. But Amber Rose, whilst I can understand why people may think that you should allow her, her fruits do not bear. She is still corrupt. She is still unrepentant. She has not turned to the father. Therefore, I do not support her. Now, I still love her as I love everyone, but they need to repent. If you're not truly repentant, if you're not bearing fruits of righteousness, then I personally believe that whether you want to be platformed or not is more of a constitutional idea of America. But for me, I don't support it. So I support the lady promoting... Her cause, the uh, Sikh lady, cause of righteousness, but I do not support Amber Rose promoting degeneracy and being unrepentant. And in the same way, if a Muslim got on stage and said, started promoting Islam, I would also be against that. So it's not that I believe that all religions are good. I just look at the spiritual path and if it resonates of truth of the Father, the same teachings of Jesus and the same teachings of truth, then I'll be on board. If it's against those truth, then I will not be on board with it. And back to how the Christians are like leftists is... The leftists like to think, oh, we're so loving and kind, but 
they just uh they do not have an example of love and kindness you can tell that they're just uh not very nice people they're very angry judgmental people who are lost in the world and it's almost you get the same idea with christians they just seem hypocrites they talk a lot about jesus and god and love and forgiveness but you can just tell they're not really the fruits do not bear as jesus said they're righteous on the outside but not righteous on the inside it's all a facade and for me the christians just come along uh, come across like the pharisees would to jesus so if you truly have the light of christ you know the truth and then you can't be fooled by the Pharisees or fake religious people going around pretending they're righteous in the same way that the leftists walk around. Oh, we're so loving, be kind. And we're so tolerant. But they're some of the most disgusting people in the world at the moment. And they just promote nothing but degeneracy and all the things that go against the light of God and the light of Christ. OK, so that's the point of my video today. It's something that struck me. So I thought I'd do a video about it. Uh, the comparisons are very interesting. And obviously, there are many, many Christians who you can have good discourse with. But there are certainly a lot all over Twitter and YouTube who... I personally just believe they're ignorant. They haven't studied all these other things and they're lost in the ego and anything against their ideology is demonic, which is just silliness. And to call all these other people demonic is just the same way that these leftists go, you're Hitler, you're racist. It's just stupid. You know, like if you have a black conservative, the leftists will still go, you're racist. And the guy's like, I'm black. I can't be racist. What are you talking about? In the same way that a true man of God could go up to a Christian and say, this is uh, the truth of God, uh, not necessarily the Christian view. And they'll say, you're demonic, despite the fact that the guy is a man of God. It's like, what are you calling me? But people call me demonic or the Antichrist or whatever. Only very, very tiny amount of Christians. But because what I'm teaching is not aligned with absolute Christianity, they'll accuse me. I believe I'm a true man of God. They'll accuse me of being demonic. And I'm like, you're crazy. Same thing that happened to Jesus. They said he was working for Satan. You're working for Baal's above because they didn't have the truth. And anything that went against their egotistical knowledge, any spiritual wisdom that went against that, they called it demonic, which is just stupidness. Okay, so that's the point of my video today. Like the video if you like it. Comment below if you have any ideas or differing ideas against that. And if you're new, subscribe for more. God bless everyone. Goodbye.